Uh, we're back here. We're playing some uh, some old world blues, the Fallout mod, of course. And I want to play as one of these communists up here. We gotta make a choice: Big Grass and the Strath Commune. We gotta weigh the pros and cons of these two, right? Uh, Big Grass has a much better name. I mean, if you're gonna, you know, conquer the the whole map hypothetically, and you see Big Grass. I mean, that's, that's funny. But they are robots, but the Strath Commune is like real, proper Chinese people, I think. Well, what, what is this? Amy Therese? She's the face of the Canadian People's Front. She's paranoid and a war industrialist. See, this is what looks really cool to me. We get a reduced coring cost on all of these places. So that's, so we get, our, we get to use night Canada is these people. We can go in any direction we want, I think. Do we have like Chinese stealth suits or something? I was playing as the the Steel Sisters, okay? And when he plays the Steel Sisters, you get this weird event where like an emaciated Chinese child is, is wearing a stealth suit. And you're like, what? What's the deal with this? We do have power armor divisions. Let's get power armor, why not? We do want to get, however, uh, armor piercing. We want to get anti-tank stuff, because we're gonna have to fight robots, right? The traitors who doomed Canada. I don't know the Canada lore. I know that like at the beginning of Fallout 1, uh, there's like a guy who gets shot in the head. But um, yeah, that's what happens. So, yeah, we get occupied, it's no good. Champ Heroes of the revolution, oh. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Wait, so... Perestroika or Autarky? That's awesome. That's so funny. So she's just like this mysterious chairwoman. neo Bucharanites of the 2020s. Canada will be free, yes. Political power gain plus 100%? I'm, I'm a little worried, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, so, so so we do have a choice here. We can become true communism. <laughs> we can stay this like authoritarian woman, which seems more fun. We will have no one question the rule of Comrade Amy. We got okay. So now we have a countdown. Burning leaf. Six. Okay, we got 250 days. So we kill these guys. We'll be good. We'll be good. We'll be good. Sick encirclement. Oh my god. So trying to go for right. Peter Pettigrew? Hmm. Hmm. I've heard that name before. <laughs> okay. So I'm worried about the robots. Be honest. How about? Hmm. <laughs> we can just walk into these guys. Yeah, we're getting owned by the robots. That's okay. We expected this. Finally. So yeah, it's it's between big grass and us. It looks like scary stuff. Robots. So they have a huge heart attack and soft attack. They're stronger than us. Yeah. They're just crazy armored because they're robots. Ah. Oh. I, you know, I don't really like Diana that much, but when she loses, I still get a little sad. I'll be honest. I need to, I probably should turn up the difficulty on this game. Because that was kind of hard, but it was a lot easier than it probably should have been. Oh, 
too bad for you, big grass. <laughs> I love these focuses. These focuses are amazing. And I just want to go on a tirade now. Now that we've sort of accomplished our original goal. Oh my god, we got... Jesus. <laughs> we can declare war so easily? That's crazy. something that's like crazy, don't we? Political power gain plus a hundred percent? Jeez. That's ridiculous. Should we kill the Gamma Ghoul? Or we should just leave him there? Look at all these fucking national spirits that he gets. Glowing rage. Recruitable population 50%. Alright, let's see how tough these Gamma Ghouls can really be. I don't- who is this, like, Amy Therese, is she just like a normal person? Is she a ghoul? She kind of looks ghoulish. I have no idea. I like that it's a woodblock print. I think that's very, very cool design choice. Maybe this is just going to be a total, you know, waste of our time. And this is going to be our Vietnam. Ghoul Vietnam, maybe. Who knows. I like the idea that it's like a ghoul little girl. I think that's kind of funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, ghoul Jesus. That's what we're doing. We're killing ghoul Jesus. Nearly three political power a day. That is kind of crazy. <laughs> we are just endless grinding. Uh, in the woods over here. We get some trucks. We are forced in the freedom of speech. We reverse collectivization. And we become ruled by a you know, democracy. Or we get plus 100 political power. I mean, that's insane. I feel bad for the poor. The poor Gabagool. Get him. Kill him. Yeah. Damn. Done. Done and dusted. I feel like this nation should have a bigger focus tree. Like, after you unite all of Canada, it should, like, open up. Because the only reason why I chose to be this sort of authoritarian guy is because of, look at those bonuses. I mean, it's just crazy. Um, I think that you need to give this equally crazy bonuses to compensate. Because otherwise it's, you know, it's just too good. Jeez, look at this. Because I, because these, these straight crossing are kind of fucky. And I suspect that these units don't realize that they can retreat. So it's just, it's just game over. Oh shit, what? Oh my god, the, the Montana chapter got taken out. Oh man, we gotta stop the Enclave. There are the real enemies. Oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> Is that a whale? Oh my god. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, I've never actually seen this happen uh, recently before, but look. So you got Lucius, Aurelian, Malpais, Volpes, and 
It's Lanius' legion, but we've got Prefectus Cassius. I don't know who that is. But we've already kind of forgotten. The dead horses? Oh my. But it's not even run by Lanius. I don't even know what happened here. Jesus, look at the legion focus tree. Probably, we gotta take on Standing Rock, we gotta take on MacArthur. Ooh. Looks like they're gonna fight for us. <laughs> what is happening here? Oh, he's like, I don't know what that means. Someone can probably tell me. Jesus. MacArthur is looking scary. MacArthur is looking scary. Let's kick the Enclave's ass. See, like, the Enclave has literally been preparing this whole game and have fought enemies much, much worse than me. And still, like... You know, I thought there would be a challenge, and they're just not. Like, I thought I would need a huge army just to fight them. And I just don't. <laughs> I just need the army I've been using the whole game. I can't be bothered to play this anymore. I like this focus tree. This is a cool focus tree. I think this is a great like multiplayer focus tree because you can kind of do your own thing. You can you know, declare war on nations without focus trees and build up and you can do different stuff. It gives you a lot of options. But once you conquer like all of your core land in Canada, I think it should open up a little bit. I would like that. This nation is like primary fodder for a for like a sub mod like a sub mod where you're like a communist and you get all these castus belly on all these different nations i think that'd be really cool i like them as they are once uh, all the nations around the strath commune have focus trees then it'll be a, an entirely different experience and i think i just need to turn up the difficulty when i play this man uh, if you like this video give it a like uh, if you want to see more in the future of you know Grand Strategy Gaming, hit subscribe, and I will see you all next time. See ya!